Hey everyone, this is Deepak Bari and in this video we are going to upload our the GNS3 iOS images into the GNS3 and we will see how the process will work. So let's get started. First we need to start the GNS3 in order to upload the iOS images. As you can see I have already downloaded the iOS images into this folder. So, C7200 up to C7200. So, these are the iOS Murmi images, and this is compressed. So, we will decompress it through uploading. So, just close this folder and let's see. This is my GNS3 and it seems the GNS3 VM is it started in the VMware workstation flow. So we don't need this right now the GNS3 VMware. So this minimize it. Now it needs to be upload some image here. The process is pretty straightforward so just go to the edit menu and Go to the preference and you can use the shortcut key the control shift P and click on this and just point out the dynamic section and you will find the iOS routers and click on the new button to create a new iOS image here. So we need to import that image and uh, in this option we will get the two options the run in iOS router on the GNS3 VM or in the local computer so it is highly recommended to use the GNS3 VM instead of the local computer as you can see it asks about the iOS image so we need to browse that image which we have just downloaded it so it is in my desktop and GNS3 iOS image Okay, let's see, we will upload this 7200 image. So just click on open. And it will ask about the decompress of this iOS image because this is the binary image. So we would like to decompress this image in order to use it. So yes, click on the yes button. And it successfully decompressed. Okay, so let's tell me the difference between this one. Okay, now as you can see, the C200, this image, uh, excuse me, this file is ex uh, the extension with the bin. So that means this is the binary file. And this binary file is just decompress now and it's converted into the image file so which is going to be used in the genius 3 now the next step is to click on the next button and you can give any kind of name according to your convenient so my case yeah, let's say I am just taking it as a default. Click on the next button. And the default recommended RAM size is 512 megabytes. So I am just leaving that. Click on the next button and the slots, it's already assigned a single slot. So if needed, we can assign another slots in this router. So I am not assigning at this time. Now click on the next button. And this is the interesting thing. This much should be assigned an idle PC in order to run the iOS image on the VM. So we need to just find the value of the idle PC. So let's check with the idle PC finder. So it will just return a value.
it will take a while so let's wait for it okay now it seems the idle pc finder it found the value of the idle pc so this is the value which will be assigned for this ios image so just click on the ok button and this value will be assigned for this ios image and click on the finish button and after then the apply and ok okay yes let me just zoom it You know it's fine. Now oh, let's create a new project and get the project name like this network. Now we will get the our the router. And we can just drag and drop our router this workspace area so as we can see the router 1 and this router 2 is added on the workspace area so similarly we can add more router images here and as well as the switch images so let's do that let's go to the preference and find the dynamics section and inside the routers click on the new on this ios router just the same process which we have done earlier but in this time you will see a change here about the ios image since we have already uploaded the ios image for this router so it will show as a list and we are going to add a new image so we need to select this new image for adding the new router now in this time we will use the 3745 this series will be added as a router click on the open and the same process it will decompress the binary folder into the image file so accept yes okay now click on the next button and let it be assigned as a c3745 series click on the next button and turn the default ram as 256 megabytes click on the next button click on the next button and we will just assign these things later so i'm not just configuring it now and let's find the idle pc finder So it found the another value for this iOS image. Let's click on the OK button and finish it. Then click on apply and OK. Now if we browse the routers from here, so it will show also the 3745 space. This router and you can drag and drop simply here. Okay, so the process is same for the another routers. So this is the task for you that upload all the iOS images whatever available in that directory. Okay guys, hope this video was helpful to you and if you encounter any kind of problem or problem with downloading or uploading the iOS images in the router in the GNS3 VM so you can Write down below the comment box.
or you can join the discord server and you can ping me back there i will surely try to help you until then all the best and guys see you in the next video